others walk dogs. Wednesdays walk scorpions. At five years old, she was the town's famous bully. A few boys felt arrogant by Wednesday, so they put her under control and forced her to watch her pet scorpion get killed. This encounter made Wednesday very sad. Since then she has put away her tears. A weak cry, the strong are merciless. Wednesday vowed not to let any of her beloved ones be harmed in any way again. So when she found her brother being bullied, she knew by her senses who had played the prank. So she went to the poolside with anger on her face and said, My brother is the only one I can bully, and you are all going to suffer. Then she threw the bags of piranhas into the pool. The boys, who had been laughing and taunting, stattered and fled on the shore. Wednesday smiled. This piranhas, from the Amazon, chased after the people in the water. Those who do not make it to shore in time will be severely punished. Soon the pool was stained with blood. The school found out what Wednesday had just done. She, Wednesday, was ordered to leave the school. Her parents had to send her to the school for the study of abnormal human beings. Her mother was a thousand years old, but still beautiful. She knew the principal very well. They graduated from this school together hundreds of years ago, but her mother was lucky enough to marry her handsome and rich father. The principal, however, remained single and stayed at this school. There's a reason this school isn't normal. The roommate took Wednesday around the school. She said the students here are all grouped together and assigned according to their categories. There are a few major families here. The first is a family of vampires wearing sunglasses. Secondly, the werewolves who growl when they see the moon. Finally, there is the ocean family with mermaid relatives. As a graduate of this school, the main purpose of the mother, sending her daughter here is to change Wednesday's rebellious character and let her be a good girl. Before leaving, she gave Wincy a necklace with magic for protection and a crystal ball that can video call. But the handsome father is afraid that his daughter will be bullied, especially left her butler right hand. Wednesday's first lesson here is fencing. The arrogant Lily quickly knocked her classmates to the ground. This made Wednesday very uncomfortable. She wants to challenge Lily and use her strength to teach her to be a good person. On one side is Lily and White. On the other side is the black clad Wednesday. Their battle began. The battle was very exciting. The first round Wednesday threw the flexible dodge successfully took a point. In the second round, Lily deliberately showed her weakness and waited for Wednesday to attack the score. She tied the score. At the critical moment, Wednesday proposed to take off the mask and remove the arrow. They were going to fight for their lives. But Lily is so cunning. She has been hiding her strength throughout the match. She made a sharp turn and scratched Wednesday's face. Wednesday, who I had never lost before, was upset. She went to the infirmary to have her wound dressed. She was ready to go out and find a place to relax. But the statue on the roof suddenly fell down. She was saved by a handsome boy. Andy, she's not impressed by such a handsome boy. Wednesday never thought she would fall in love. She just asks Andy who caused the accident just now. The right hand has been eavesdropping, knowing that Wednesday was in danger. He appeared directly in her blanket. Wednesday wasn't shocked. She grabbed the right hand that tried to escape. Wednesday asked him about the purpose of his say. The right hand was going to muddle through, but he couldn't resist Wednesday's questioning. After some exchanges between them, Wednesday knew that his mother had sent him here to, to keep an eye on her movements. In order to avoid being locked in a drawer, right hand decided to help Wednesday and plan her escape from the college together. The plan is divided into three steps. The first step is to use the opportunity to see a psychiatrist to get rid of the principal who has been watching her. The second step is to pretend to cooperate with the doctor's treatment and take the initiative to explain that she is particularly fond of pranks. She had bought a lot of rat traps and made a lot of fun of the people she hated. Step three, Wednesday entered the bathroom and let her right hand take out the nail clippers she had prepared. She managed to pry open the window and turned into a rock climbing master. From the downpipe, speed dropped to the street, but she did not expect that when crossing the street, she collided with a fruit farmer. Her mind instantly flashed back to a terrible car accident to keep the principal from finding out. Wednesday rushes to the coffee shop and orders an iced espresso americano. As she was about to take a set, three punks opened the door and came in. They were furious that Wednesday had taken their seat. They immediately yelled at her. Their insults angered Wednesday. The clerks came up to break up the fight. It's a shame that a few guys are bullying a girl, but Wednesday stood up directly. With a dodge and a kick, she directly knocked down the two boys. Finally, she came back with a beautiful roundhouse kick to knock down the last one. With good kung fu, you can go anywhere. Wednesday solved the immediate problem, but her escape plan was discovered. The principal arrives and takes Wednesday away. On their drive back to school, they saw the scene of an accident with white smoke ahead. The owner of the car died in a horrible way. The scene was just like the vision in Wednesday's mind. That night, Wednesday came up with another escape plan. 
First, she went to a crowded amusement park and used her skill in darts. After winning the top prize, she told the store owner to give the toy panda to the principal on the sidelines. After a moment of obscurity, Wednesday disappeared. It turns out that she had already asked Andy to drive her to the train station. As they were heading to the car, they were met by three of the afternoon's gangsters with a vengeance. They came towards them with weapons. They had to run away first. On the way to escape, Wednesday bumped into Jack, a classmate on the side of the road. Suddenly a terrible moment flashed through her mind. She thought Jack would meet the same fate as the driver, so she gave up running and went to Jack's aid. She followed Jack into the woods, not realizing he could do magic. With a wave of Jack's hand, Wednesday flew straight to the tree. It turns out that Jack's whole family is a magical prophet. His mother had painted a picture 25 years ago. The content of the painting is to tell future generations that, in the future, if you meet Wednesday, you must kill her, otherwise the world will erupt in a terrible disaster. Just as Jack finished speaking, a black shadow came out. The huge werewolf was beating up on Jack. Jack just came out and died. At this point, Wednesday did not want to run away. She just came to this school almost died twice. This is too exciting. 